Here's a cool way to use count a and the choose function to return a value based on a count. So, here in my spreadsheet, I have these three dropdowns. They're identical, they all come from another sheet. Pretty easy to set up data validation. What I want to do is have a, another cell here in D2 that depending on how many are selected, it outputs one selected, two selected, or selection full. But I do not want to have these words here. I don't want to be referencing these cells at all. What I'm going to use is first the count a function, which counts how many values are in a data set. Or in other words, it just counts how many cells are not blank. So if I go like this, it says zero. Everything here is blank. But I can select one here and it'll change to one or two or all three. Okay. Next, I'm going to use the choose function. The choose function takes an index number and then from the repeatable number of choices returns the, num the one from that index. So it'll, if you pass in three, it'll return the third choice. If you pass in 17, it'll pa return the 17th choice. I'm gonna make three choices. So I've done the index and now my choice one is one selected. Then two selected. Then selection full. So depending on how many are selected, the count A acts as the index and then selects the correct choice. And this works no matter how many are selected. So if I delete the middle one, it says two selected. If I delete this one, one selected. And I can also do this in reverse. And that's what I like about this is it works no matter which ones are selected. So even just having C2 says one selected or B2 or whatever. Some other methods get confused like without using the count A you can get confused based on which ones are selected. But using count A in this manner works no matter which ones are selected. And then choose is a very simple function to use to get the correct selection.